Hello, welcome to Border Bananas. My name is Jamie. Today is a huge home decor thrift haul. I went to, plus retail, I should say. It's not just a thrift haul. I went to Goodwill, uh, Target, a local charity thrift shop, Amazon, I got a few things from there, uh, and eBay. So let's get started. First off, I'd like to thank VacLife for sponsoring this video. They did send me a handheld cordless vacuum like so uh, for this video and you'll get to see me use it in just a little bit. Uh, so let's get started, shall we? It comes in a beautiful box with instructions on it of how to use it, how to care for it, and who to contact in case you have uh, questions on your product. It comes with a crevice tool as well as a little brush extension, a little tiny brush for cleaning it. If you own a dust buster type vacuum, you know how handy this is for cleaning your vacuum and getting into those nooks and crannies as well as a um, charging cord and an extra filter so you can wash your filter with each use, which is phenomenal. So I was really excited to uh, get this vacuum in the mail. I've already put it to good use. Um, in a project that you're going to see in this video that I'm also extremely excited about. And that would be, where is it? Right here. These spice racks. I found these spice racks at Walmart. I was so excited when I found these because I'd never ever seen spice racks like this before and they are perfect. Um, I had the typical spice rack before with the risers. I had it completely filled up. I could, I, with a minus of two, I could put two more spices on there, possibly. Um, but I couldn't read the back spices on the rack. I would have to pick up every single one to read each one and then also to check to see if I was running out, right? So it was kind of a pain in my backside and I had been looking for the perfect solution for a long time. When I found these, I was super duper soaked. So uh, I went ahead and I emptied out my cabinet wiped it all down. I vacuumed it out with my Vac Life vacuum. I laid down some protection underneath my shelf. Now my cabinets are not a typical size. I don't think things that are meant to fit in cabinets are half an inch too big for my cabinets. So <laughs> um, everything overhangs just a little bit, but it doesn't matter because my doors still close perfectly. 
I did order two things from Amazon and the first one would be these non-glare 200 count sheet protectors. In my last video, I showed you how I am redoing my uh, recipe binder for myself and I was buying the pen and gear sheet protectors from Walmart and they were six or eight dollars for just 25 of them. Um, and I was planning on just buying a pack or, or you know, pack or two every time I run out until my binder was finished. Well, I found these on Amazon. They are non-glare and it was, it's a 200 count for $16. So that is a much better deal. So this I went ahead and purchased and out I am set. I actually have extras. Uh, so we'll see what I do with those. <laughs> The next thing I order from Amazon, I ordered from Amazon was the Dritz Home Creative DIY Rod Loop Tape. So I like back tab curtains or pinch pleat curtains. I just enjoy the look of both of those styles. And I'm getting gearing up to make some curtains for my living room to warm it up in there um, and bring in, introduce a little color, you know because it's very beige and gray right now and that is just not me. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing that, but I wanted to make them back tab and this was the easiest way to do it. The Amazon links I will put down below for you uh, so that you can grab some too. I can't remember just how much this is, how much this was, but I, how many, this is yards and yards of this. I should definitely be able to get at least one or two projects out of this. Um, it's four inches by six yards, so definitely. Okay. Now I'm going to try and figure, okay. Target. I tend to not buy stuff at Target too much. I try to stay away from it. I think some of their stuff is really overpriced for what it is. Um, and I definitely try to stay away from the trendy dollar spot stuff. But there's one thing I have been looking for for the last few years that I've never been able to find. And I actually found them. They were just two on the shelf. Um, I don't know if they're just pulling them out, but they were, it was a while ago that I found these. Um, and I know that they have stocked their shelves since then and there are more. So, but I grabbed two packages of the wooden eggs. And that is what I bought from the Target dollar spot. I've been looking for these, like I said, for a while and I've never been able to get my hands on them. This is the one thing that I've always wanted from the dollar spot. Um, and I feel like these can be used in decor more than just the spring. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to be um, maybe doing a little DIY with some of these. We shall see. Love, love, love those. And did I mention how much were they? They were $3 per pack. I went to my local charity thrift shop and found two items that I was super excited about because not only are they something that I've been looking for, but there is something, they were 75% off. They were on the 75% off table and it is these two candlesticks. I was so excited. I just found a few of these. I think I paid $1.99 for them or $2.99 for them. I can't remember. Um, and a thrift haul not too long ago. So I'm glad to have found two more and they were marked two dollars to begin with so I only paid 50 cents a piece for them so I was super excited to get two candlesticks for a dollar I never find those kinds of deals around here <clears throat> okay my, this is my most recent find I'm getting ready to show you and this is a wool blanket how much was it I did get my veteran sticks count on this because I went on a Wednesday. It's from Goodwill. It was $3.99, so I paid $3 for it. And it is this beautiful wool blanket with fringe on it. And I thought, oh my goodness, wouldn't that be beautiful in the fall? I don't know if I'm going to keep it as a blanket or maybe turn it into a pillow cover. We shall see. I have some ideas. I think it's going to be gorgeous though, uh, no matter what I do with it. Because it's just like that nice heavy, it's not a real scratchy wool, it's actually pretty soft. So I'm excited about that. Another item I found, which it was $6.99, which I didn't think 
was a great price, but it was brand new, originally from Target, and it is another pillow. Now, I don't like these pillows with the fluffy inserts. Um, I like my feather pillows. This was $6.99, you guys, but it is double-sided, like so. Um, I like both sides, actually. It's just a beige and a medium gray tone, but it has the zipper that I'm really excited about, and I believe this is a threshold pillow. I remember seeing threshold on it somewhere. Yes, it's right there. So I was excited about that because Threshold is the line at Target that I do like. Um, it's very classic. So I grabbed that basically just for the cover. <laughs> then I'm trying to decide on what to show you next. Okay. These, I also got the Veterans Discount on. They were $2.99, and I got them for my friend Nicole Northgarden. They are her Mikasa French Countryside Dishes, and I found her three, I'm gonna call them pasta bowls. They're either pasta bowls or salad bowls, but I think they are beautiful. They were $2.99, so I paid $2.25-ish for them, and it, they just look like this. Isn't that pretty? Very classic, I love them. They're nice, good quality. Um, I didn't see any chips on them at all, um, and they are not scratched up at all either. So that was exciting. I'm going to leave those right here. And then <laughs> um, I found another piece of my heritage pattern from False Scrap, and it is this little soup terrain. Isn't that amazing? It is missing its ladle. But I have this guy in the big mamma jammer. I mean, it's huge. It's probably at least double the size, if not triple the size. Um, so I was excited to find this because I think this would be beautiful as a floral centerpiece on my kitchen table. So excited, which reminds me, I totally forgot a piece out somewhere out there. It's probably on my kitchen table now. I'll have to run in and grab it for you. I'm saving my favorite, favorite, favorite piece for last. I also splurged on it, so. Okay, how much was this guy? This guy was $2.99, and it is something I've been looking for. This is plastic, but I really do like it. Um, so I grabbed it, and it is this little frame right here. It looks like, let's see if I can get you a close-up. I can't tell if it's focusing. I hope it's focusing. But it was $2.99 and I have been collecting my gold tone frames. Now this one does look like wood and gold. I haven't decided if I'm going to give it a makeover or not. I don't mind it the color it is right now and I think a little variation in my frames is okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to go get that one other thing that I found. Okay, so I have to tell you I might return it because I found this before I found my terrine. Um, I do love this, but I love my terrine more and I just don't need two items for the same thing because I bought this for <laughs> a, uh, you know, a floral centerpiece on my kitchen table. Um, I think it is beautiful, but I just don't need two and I really do love my heritage one. Um, it's just a one-handled bean pot. I don't think that this is a chamber pot. Um, it's much too small at the top, but I think I'm going to exchange this at Goodwill, or maybe I'll keep it for fall. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I keep it or not. Are you guys ready for this? I am. This, I, oof, I'm so excited. I'm speechless. <laughs> okay. It was $80 after being shipped, but I found a vintage pottery barn floral duvet. Uh, my duvet, or I'm sorry, my comforter I found at Goodwill for $5 years ago. I did haul it on this channel. Oh gosh, probably close to the beginning of my YouTube channel, maybe a year in or so. Um, and I've had it ever since but it's starting to age. I'm getting little cuts in it and I keep darning it and um, I love it, <laughs> but I want to protect it because it's like one of those really good quality, heavy comforters. And those are hard to come by 
they're not heavy anymore and I like a heavy comforter. So I have been looking for the perfect duvet cover for so long. I think this will work in the spring, summer. I can even use it in the fall um, because of the colorway. And wait till you see this. This is so beautiful. But look at this. Can you see that? I love it so, so much. Um, it has these beautiful um, peachy pinks and the creams and the dark tealy blues and the sages all the way to the deeper greens and olives. Um, I And it's on linen, uh, a linen colored background. So I think it is just beautiful and I'll be able to use this year round. I am so excited about this. When I got it, I thought, oh my gosh, should I use this as curtains? <laughs> but I don't think it's going to be quite long enough. So um, it's going to be my duvet cover for my bed. I just have never put on a duvet before, so I have to figure that out. I think it should be relatively easy. I think if I do it inside out, it'll be a little easier. We'll see. But <clears throat> I am so excited about this guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next week um, with a thrift with me and I'll check you later. Thanks guys. Bye.